Hi and welcome to the Posh Travel Blog. I'm Christina. And I'm Stuart. And forgive us for just looking so um, drained and bedraggled. Um, we're currently on the Norwegian hot. getaway. Very hot. Um, we're in Santorini. We very, very rarely um, post live, as you know, for those who follow our channel. Um, but we felt compelled to uh, to share our, our experience with you today in yeah. Santorini. The title of this video is Santorini Cruise Port Hell. And today it's been hell. Gorgeous place. We're not saying that. But Santorini, you need to sort this out. This is crazy. Um, basically, we tender ashore. There's four ships in today. There were five ones just left. There's four ships in. There's the Norwegian Jade. There's our one, the Norwegian Getaway. There's a Ponant ship and a Costa, Costa. ship that's just pulled out. Um, so all in all, four, five, six, must be about 8,000 people. And the other day, there was about six ships in and there was 15,000 people in this port, which is absolutely crazy. Um, because you go ashore, and to get to the town, there's a cable car that takes you from the bottom to the top. The cable car is beautiful, very pretty, but it, it just cannot cope with this number of people. It's got six carriages on each side. Is it carriages? What do you call them? Yeah, the, the Cabins. Pods. Pods. Um, and they take six in each, so that's 36 on each time, each side. So that takes 72 up there, 72 back. You're talking like probably 800 people in the queue at the bottom and there's similar number Crazy. at the top, maybe more than that. Crazy. And it's 40 degrees today. This is just Yeah, we're in extreme. July on uh, Getaway, as Christina said, and it's 40 degrees and it was it was just torture. There was no pleasure in it. Absolutely. And actually, there was people in the queue. We were, we were clever today because we'd been on before. So we got off on the first tender and there wasn't too much of a queue because the other ships had got here earlier than us. So we went up up the hill, but when we came back down, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, yes. the queue was about eight hundred to a thousand people waiting in, in forty degree heat to get onto this cable. No car. shade at all, and it's it's just absolute mayhem up there. It's hell. It really is. And I just I say last week we had the same experience, and we 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 took the donkey trail up there, which. We walked up the donkey trail. The donkey trail is a path that zigzags all the way up to the town, which is high. It's high up. You'll see on our footage that I'm dropping in now. And um, these poor donkeys, I mean, they look well fed. I'm not saying they, 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 they don't look bedraggled or anything. I mean, they look quite well. But, it's... but the tourists all get on these donkeys, and then these poor donkeys have to hike them all the way up these paths. Slippery, um, cobblestones all the way up. And, um, and and they get fed up. And when we were up, one kicked back and nearly kicked us. Yeah, and we got shoved into the wall. wall it's, and, if you like extreme ventures, then, then that's the problem. And we had trainers do, but... on. So if, if you're coming to Santorini and you were determined to do the donkey trail, I mean, if you did it out of season, May or September or October, it wouldn't be so bad. It's the heat that gets to you. But yeah. put really good trainers on. And even with trainers, you'll slip. But no way flip-flops. No way. And just be careful to get out of the way of the donkeys. It's their path and we're kind of, you know... And the Greek guys um... who run the donkeys up there don't care. They go, oh, oh, oh. And all the donkeys come charging all... And you're like, ah! Jump yeah. to the side. Jump to the side. And I think because the queues are so massive, people are, they want to get up there. I mean, God, it's like the highlight of um, of many, all the cruises to see yeah. Santorini. It's stunning up there. It's, it's spectacular. Um, and this is just crazy. It's absolutely crazy to have this volume of people on. on Too many Santorini. ships are coming into Santorini at once. Yeah. They cannot cope. The cable car cannot cope. Um, Say, so going back to the donkey path, yeah, we walked cool. up it and it was a nightmare. Um, and then we decided to come back down on the cable car, which we did this time as well. We've just got back now. And we had to wait at the top because we were clever because we got up there on the first tender. So there wasn't too much of a queue. We had to wait one hour in the blazing sunshine to get back onto the cable car to come back down. And when we got in the cable car, there was three people in our cabin, which takes six people. They're not regulating I mean, what, and putting what are they the right playing numbers. at? You know, yeah, it's, it's it crazy. It's crazy. And, but, and we had it quite easy. We had it lucky waiting an hour. I, the queue had only just, it was just getting bigger and bigger. I would think it's probably going to be probably two and a half hours at this point now to get back down. Yeah, because we were the first um, to go up, Norwegian getaway, and when we came back down, Costa were coming back. They wanted to get back on the ship. The Jade, they wanted to get back on the ship. That's why there was a massive queue at the top. And there's always a queue at the top and at the bottom. Yeah. And um, there was little kids in this heat. Yeah. And it's 40 degrees and, and the parents, on. we just spoke to quite a few people on our tender and they said they didn't even get, they, they just got to the, to, took the tender over there. They couldn't get to the cable car. They couldn't wait in that blazing hot heat. 
and, and the kids were collapsing. Well, it was they were attempting the paths as well, and they weren't equipped. You know, they weren't wearing trainers. They were in flip flops, understandably. No sun hats, no water, and they were trying to get up the path in flip flops. The donkeys are all obviously the donkeys are irritable. The donkey herders are all irritable. irritable. And it's a, it's a catastrophe waiting to happen. It in is. My and the opinion, donkeys, they go up there with tourists on who've never ridden donkeys or horses or whatever before. There's no helmets, there's no safety, and the hooves are slipping on the cobbles. Personally, I wouldn't go on the donkeys. No, I'd take the cable car or, like I say, walk up, but you've got to be very careful because the donkeys are all charging past you. Maybe wear a crash um, helmet. But don't do it in the peak of the season like we just did. It was, it's crazy. So it's sad. too hot here. There's yeah. a heat wave at the moment. So. Okay. Um, so I don't know what to suggest. Um, let's say we got off our tender first and we got to the the port and, and because the other ships had got here early and we'd got here in the afternoon, yeah. there was we were first off, so we got quickly on there. But then we still had an hour to wait to come back down. And there's no other way. You either go on the donkey trail, on a donkey, walk, or you go on the cable car up and down. Yeah. So it's July uh, and August. It. I mean, if you're here in May or June or September, October, and it's cooler, you can put up with standing and waiting. You don't mind. But when you're standing in 40 degree heat and at the top, there's no shade, they've got no covers. You're just standing it's, in blazing hot sunshine. I mean, people were fainting. It was just yeah. not good. So and it's, it's awful. It's so sad that, as I say, so many people have missed out on seeing such a stunning... Yeah, people you know, have flown all the way from America, and, all and, the way from America, and they stood yeah. there so what, what's up there? Is it they? worth it? Oh my God, it's so worth it. But they said, we can't be doing with this and I don't blame them. It's too much. So yeah. sorry to run down Santorini, but we love it. you need to sort well, this out. Yeah. If you're watching this Santorini, you've got to sort this out. Either you let less ships in or sort something out with a cable car or another method. I don't know. But, yeah. but anybody who's watching this who's going to Santorini to the port, if you're going out of season, you want to walk the donkey trail, good shoes, suntan cream and hat, and be prepared to wait otherwise. So. Thank you for watching. Um, as I we say, just had we, to blow that one we off. We did. Feel better now. And <laughs> um, we're putting quite a few videos on our channel. Anything we find informative, then we'll put on. So if you can subscribe, uh, thumbs up would be great. Um, and if you want to follow us on Instagram, because on Instagram, we, we yeah, you can yeah. follow our daily what we're, we're doing. We put posts Posting on there. The any any advice we can give, we will. Stories and, like that. Um, so. Top ten tips. Okay, so that's it. Thanks Sorry, Santorini, watching. beautiful place, but need to sort this out. Give us a thumbs up. Cheers. Bye. Bye.